Aloha mai kako. Today we're going to look at the sentence structure in Hawaiian. Um, the structure is called pepeke aike he. And this structure is a class inclusion stru uh, sentence structure. Um, if you're wondering what that means, it means when you take a thing and you label it what class it belongs to. So anytime you're trying to um, label something and put it into a specific category of what it is, um, you would use this type of sentence. You can you can remember that if we're using the sentence structure, usually in English, it's going to have the words is a, or if I'm trying to say I am a, I am a wahine, I am a kumu, I am a whatever, insert surfer, insert whatever you are in that area okay so to do this structure sentence structure in hawaiian we're going to follow this very simple equation which is going to be k blank and then you're going to use kia for this or k blank and then you're going to use kela for that okay so for example this is a book. This is a book. So I'm saying this is a book. Am I going to use keia or kela? Keia. I would use keia. Everyone say keia. One more time. Keia. Okay. So I'm going to take the uh this one that is highlighted here. And in that blank section, I am going to insert the word for book. Okay, so in that blank is where the object name goes. This is a book. So in Hawaiian, we say puke. Puke for book. So the complete sentence would be he puke keia. Everyone say that. He puke keia. One more time. He puke keia. Okay, and that translates to this is a book. Okay, now I'm going to use something that is not in my immediate range so that I can say that is a, that is a window. That is a window. Okay, I already used keia for this, so I'm going to use kela for that. Okay, um, the word for window is puka ani ani. Puka ani ani. So the complete sentence would be he puka ani ani ke la. That is a window. Okay. So basically, this structure is always going to say the same. It's always going to start with he. It's always going to have the um, noun next. And then the last word is either going to be keia or ke la. And this is just starting very simple. Later, we'll learn how to do, use this sentence in other ways, like she is a, you are a. Um, but for now, we're just doing this is a and that is a. Okay. Um, now, what I want you to do is look around the room you're in, and you're going to fi find five items, five items that you can look up on the Hawaiian Dictionary, vehevehe.org. Okay, so you're going to go to Hawaiian Dictionary and say maybe you chose light. You're going to type in light in English and see what words come up. And then you're going to take that word and you're going to insert it in the blank area. That is a light. Um, then you're going to also write the English so that I know what you're trying to say. Um, it's very important to have the Hawaiian and English so that I know what, what you're talking about. Okay. Um, that's all. I look forward to seeing your sentences and you're going to make five different sentences using keia and kela. So you can make two of one and three of the other. Okay, so two this is sentences and three that is sentences or opposite. Um, three this is and two that is. Alrighty, mahalo and ahui ho. Have a great day.